Was uh, the rain at all a setback for your first practice in pads? It, uh, it rained yesterday a little bit, but uh, we can't allow the elements to dictate the circumstances of our play. We've got to learn to play through that. That's just part of us going as a team. Stay focused on the things at hand that will allow us to progress. And how far along are you guys at this point? In terms of? In terms of just as a team and everything that you need to get done uh, with the first game being three weeks away? Well, I think uh, we've made some growth in some areas. Some some areas we haven't. Um, the whole key is just kind of getting our team out here. You know, we probably had uh, eight guys or so missing a day for various, you know, injuries and reasons. But um, once we can get everybody back together and cre- create some continuity, really, you know, I think we'll be fine. But we're making progress. It just needs to be on a consistent basis. How much does the intensity level up when you put the pads on and guys are actually getting to make a little contact? Well, the, the, the physical aspect of it, it definitely, you know, uh, raises. And then also the excitement of just having four pads on. But the truth of the matter is, as long as we got shoulder pads on the Amazon, we should have the same type of intensity. One day I want to get to the point to where just putting the pants on really doesn't make a difference because we practice with the intensity that we need to or that a mature team um, normally does. And do you feel like at this point you're where you thought you would be or where you should be? or Not really. Um, like I said, we got guys out. You know, we had uh, a number of O-line guys out today, so that creates some inconsistencies in offense. So um, in order for us to grow, again, it's all about continuity and rhythm. And we don't have that because too many guys are out. Anything significant or just a little nagging a little? Yeah, he, he, yeah, <laughs> he, that's, that's the biggest. That's the, the biggest one. Coaching staff is wearing a lot of sweaters and sweatsuits when you're out there practicing. Is there a special motivation behind that? Not necessarily. It's, 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 in, in our mind, in my mind, it's not that high, you know, really. Um, and mentally, we got to get them to, to, to grow to think that way, you know. And it's it's one of those things, like I just got to tell them, the uh, – the, the mental aspect of winning is all about believing, and believing is about confidence. Confidence is about preparation, and preparation is about attitude. And so it all starts with our attitudes in terms of the way that we approach the field, and that's something daily that we have to continue to strengthen. Is there any sort of sense of nervousness three weeks away, or is it still all excitement? What, what are you guys feeling right We've now? We've got work to do, man. It's, it's, that's where the focus is, you know, on the issues and the things that we need to do to grow this football team as well as prepare for the first game. You've got a week, of, almost a week under your belt. What do you change now? What what is what happens next week? But next next week is the week that we have to make our team. You know, it's very very situational oriented from Monday through Saturday, and we have to focus on those situations and allow us to grow in every situation in terms of football, so we can put it together and look like a true football team on both sides of the ball as well as special teams. Anybody standing out at this point? I mean, any group or, or anybody in particular that's caught your eye? You know, I've been given, and, and um, the older guys are kind of starting to come along, but what I'm looking at is the guys that we brought in. And I've been talking about the defensive backs probably most of the week, the young guys, but I, those young receivers, uh, Brizzy Travis, Kevin Wright, uh, those guys are starting to step up, and don't be surprised if you don't see them on the field. I'm, I'm liking their growth daily. Is that a good thing for the veterans to kind of have that push from the young guys that are coming in? Well, um, like I said earlier, and I stand by this, uh, you know, we have to create a competitive environment. And we also have to put the best players on the field. And those guys who are consistently making plays and executing, we have to give them a real look and be honest at the guys that can help us, honest with the guys that can help us.